Hey everybody, how you doing? Um, I know it's been a while since you've seen me out here, but I'm back. Uh, this this program that I'm about to show you, it's, it's a remarkable program. You're going to love it. And it comes in high demand from, uh, I've had quite a few responses lately asking me to for assistance on just what this program is going to show you. It's called the Uninstaller, and it, it absolutely does a beautiful job going through. When you uninstall something, it, it, it uh, searches the registry, it deletes all the entries that were put in by the registry, and it uh, removes any leftover icons and folders and files that may be left over. It removes all traces of the program. It's really nice. And I talked really fast in it because it started out 27 minutes long, so you'll see I broke it down as best I could. So it sounds like I'm just blah, 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 running right through it without taking a breath. But, you know, it's going to uh, just take advantage of that uh, little pause button right there and you'll be fine. Uh, or come back and watch the video a few times, you're probably going to have to. But there was a lot of information to cover and I wanted to make sure I walked you through the program as best I could. Uh, so enjoy the video and uh, make sure to leave any comments or questions. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks, and uh, have a great day. Roll it. Okay, in the video description, you're going to see this link. And we're going to click on the link. You can either right-click on it and save target as, or open a new window, um, or just left-click on the link, and it'll open the, it'll take you to this site here. It'll start to download. It might look a little different depending on what browser you use. This is how it looks with uh, Firefox. You're going to choose Save File. Firefox brings up the download window. And when that's done, we'll click Open. Or go to where your downloads are. Tools, Downloads. It'll open that window for you. Click Open. We're going to do the same thing in Internet Explorer. We'll see how that looks a little different. You'll get a window like this. Either choose Run or Save. But what you're going to want to do is choose Save. And then decide where you're going to save it. You can open the menu and choose any place in your computer. Um, most people like using the My Documents folder. So you click on My Documents. Name it whatever you want. You can put any name in here that you like. Choose Save. Now if you want to leave this window open after your download completes to make sure that check mark is off so it'll stay open. Now once it's done you can click on run and you can close the browser. Okay depending on what either one of the browsers that you use to open it this is going to come up click run click next accept the license agreement click next it'll automatically put it in your program files that's good just leave that where it is click next Next again, um, you, you choose whether you want a quick launch icon or not. Click Next, Install. It'll search for any applications that are already installed. This might take a few minutes. Okay, when it's done, it'll give you a couple more options. You can check for updates, which is really not necessary because you just installed the new one. So we can check off of that. And we're going to run our installer. Click Finish. Now this is a trial version and my trial version's already expired so I'm going to go out and purchase this right now the trial version is good for 21 days 24 days so you'll get this every time you open it and just click on continue and I'm gonna order it now it automatically brings you up to the shopping window go to checkout and if you've seen one of my previous videos you'll see I have the RoboForm toolbar up here I click my username and it fills out my information for me. Very nice tool. It's called RoboForm. Take the check mark off, send me information anytime you fill out a web form. Because otherwise you, do, you get all kinds of spam mail from them. Click next. Type in your credit card number. Okay, it takes you to the final final page. Click on submit order. If you verify all your information. And I have my serial number. It'll also send me an email with this serial number in it or you can print this page out which is always a good idea okay now I'm gonna enter my key type my name product has been registered 
Now once it's open, it's going to automatically go to your uninstaller icon. And it lists all the programs that you have installed. I left a couple of things in here just so you can see how it works, things I don't need. But we're going to get to that in a minute. First thing you want to do is go to Tools, Options, and you can tweak it in here for how you want your uninstaller to behave. Um, you've got other options in here, Disk Cleaner. You, um, when you run a disk cleanup, it's going to scan your computer, and you can choose at what level it scans. You don't really want to bother getting rid of empty folders or empty files. And you can choose the appearance, the colors that you use. Match level should be average. Click OK. You've got a rescue center. It makes a system checkpoint every time you uninstall something. So if you did make a mistake, you can go back to that time and date and do a restore. The next icon is your startup programs. This is, I did a video for MS Config, and this is kind of brings you into your startup menu. It's a shortcut for MS Config, and it shows you all the programs that are running automatically when your computer starts. So I use Incredimail for my email program. I use the Avast Antivirus, Power DVD. Okay, I installed Power DVD earlier, and it automatically put this in for remote control, which I don't use, so I'm going to turn that off. So that's going to free up resources. Roboform I use all the time, so I have that load. You can pretty much tell what this stuff is just by reading the, uh, the command line and where it belongs. So once you've made your choices here, click Apply, and the next time you restart, it'll take effect. The next icon over is to scan for uh, find clean. It'll clean your temporary folders. And we're going to run a scan, and it gives you an option of where you want to check for. If you have a, a secondary drive, chances are you don't need to scan that every time. But the first time you run it, I would scan all your drives and leave these checked. This is all the default types of files that it's going to look for. And it, it pretty much knows. So unless you really know what you're doing, go ahead and leave all these checked. And click Scan. And this will take a little bit of, little bit of time. So we'll pause the video here and we'll be back. Okay, you get the pop-up when the scan's complete. Click OK. Okay, so just go ahead and leave everything checked. Click Delete All. And then last year, are you sure you want to delete them? Okay, it said it found 190 files were removed. Save 46 megabytes of disk space. Some files can't be removed because they're currently being used, which that's fine. You're going to get that sometimes. Okay, the next icon is your Start Menu. And this is your Start Menu for what this right here and all this stuff that's showing. Or you can go through here and everything you leave a check mark on will not show up in your start menu anymore. I don't need the extra files. So it really cleans up your start menu very well. And when you're done, hit apply. It will take effect after restarting Windows. Do you want to restart now? No. Okay, we'll move over to Internet Explorer. And this is the, you can clean up your cookies, search history, passwords. So I want to save my passwords and my saved forms. You can delete your browser history address, internet temporary files, clean. Okay, it says job done. Your serving traces has been completely erased. And we'll move to the next icon. That's your rescue center. You want to open that and create a backup. And you can name it anything you want. We'll name this one um, pre-install. Click OK. It'll create an entire backup. So if you do something, do make a mistake in here, you go back, you click on pre-install and click restore. It'll change everything back. This is information. And you know, you go to the website, read up on it, shows you how to purchase it, enter your code if you haven't done so, and recommend it to friends, check for updates. Okay, now the most important aspect of this is you highlight the one you want, you click uninstall. You click next and it will automatically search for the uninstaller that came with that program. Sometimes they're not there. It will tell you you're about to remove it. Yes to continue. It has been removed. You click OK. Now it's going to scan the registry which Windows doesn't do for you. And it's going to remove all your registry settings. And all this stuff is left behind. So you click next. 
click finish now all traces of that program are gone okay log me in I don't use that anymore and click uninstall click next it'll open the uninstaller that came with that program and once that's done it'll scan your registry it's removing all remnants of that program from the computer nothing left behind it deletes folders and um, all kinds of other files that are left behind on some programs now if you have the trial version you can only remove two programs at once so you have to close it and reopen the program okay anything in here that has to do with a toolbar where it says search in the title you can definitely you want to get rid of that you, you might even see your virus files in here and in your uninstaller you can change the view right now it's large icons you can change it to list uh, report shows you the date it was installed the size of it the last time you used it which is this is kinda nice because it shows you you know if you've got programs in here you say well I don't know if I need that or not well if you haven't used it since like this one I haven't used it since December 15th of 07 so I might need that I might not and if you want to do it that way you can click on last access date click on it again and it'll sort them by the by the last time you use them so you can go to the end of the list and see which one you've used the last and you can also see when it was installed close the program restart your computer and you should be good to go